Hey there, welcome back. My name is Katie. If you're new to my channel, this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. And today we're going to do a couple of finger food, party food, tailgate food. Um, so much going on during the fall with football games and parties and coming up with Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. So I thought I'd do a couple of finger foods and um, these we're actually going to prep for the freezer. We're going to partially bake them and then the day that we serve them, we can pull them out. Um, bake them the rest of the way and they'll be fresh and yummy and delicious and crispy. So the two things we're making today are pulled pork pastry bites or puff pastry bites and the other is a Monte Cristo pinwheel. Um, I don't know if you remember back, if you're old enough to remember from the 80s and 90s restaurant called Bennigan's. It was, um, and there was a sandwich they served there called the Monte Cristo and the sandwich Monte Cristo is a ham and turkey and Swiss cheese sandwich that they would deep fry with a batter and then dip it in raspberry preserves. So we're going to make a variation of that in a pinwheel form and serve it with raspberry preserves also. So let's just get started. We're going to start off with our Monte Cristos. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone to the deli and I've gotten some turkey and I got some ham and I had them slice it pretty thin because when we roll these up, you want it to be able to roll and not be too stiff and kind of fight you. I also got um, the Swiss cheese. It's the ultra thin also so that we can roll that up. I could not find the crescent dough sheets, which would probably be a better solution for this. Um, with the hurricane we had last week, the stores lost all their cold foods. And so when I went in, they weren't fully stocked up. So I just got crescent rolls. So whether you get crescent dough sheets or the rolls themselves, it's gonna work the same. We just have to press our seams together. So we're gonna open up our first can here. have an oven just beeping at me, preheat to 375. If you're going to bake these to use that day, you'd want to cook them for 10 to 12 minutes. But like I said, we're going to partially bake these. So I'm going to separate this in half. So we have two halves here, which is essentially four of the crescent rolls. So we'll unroll our four. And we're going to pinch our seams together. Again, if you had the sheets, you wouldn't have to do this. But this is not difficult. So we're going to take our rolling pin. And I have this on parchment paper so I don't have to mess the counter up or anything. I'm just going to roll these out a little bit just to kind of seal them up a little bit more. I'm not trying to really make them bigger, just seal all the perforations. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, I think we'll start with our cheese. We're going to put a layer of cheese down. Perfect little overlap there that I can use to fill that up. All right, we'll do this one. We'll put a layer of ham. We'll do another layer of cheese, and then we'll do a layer of turkey. Okay. Let's see. So like I said, one of the keys to this meat is having them slice it thin. 
to make it easier to roll up. Now I'm going to, my slices are bigger than my pastry, so I'm going to fold it over a little bit so it's not really hanging out. Maybe I'll have to cut it off. Maybe when we go to roll it, we'll be able to fix that. Or we can just fill in our gaps with it. All right, we'll do another layer of cheese. And now a layer of our turkey. And both of these deli meats I got were smoked. I love smoked turkey and smoked ham. So I opted for this smoked. You get what you like. There we go. I'm just going to leave this sitting here for our next one. So we're going to take our short side. We're just going to start rolling this up. So now you have a big pinwheel. We're going to take a serrated knife and we're going to cut them. I'd say about a half inch. Let me get a sheet pan so I can lay these out. My sheet pan is lined with parchment. We don't want anything sticking with that cheese melting. So I'm gonna lay these on there. My husband's gonna be so excited about these. Actually, you know, these little ones on, from the ends, I'm going to put those on a separate sheet pan and bake them to try. So we'll have our little taste test today. All right, I'm going to get all these finished and rolled up, and I'll show you our next step. All right, so with three rolls of the crescent rolls, I was able to get 24 um, thin wheels. I used three packs of the Swiss cheese, almost a pound each of the turkey and the ham. And now we're going to do a little egg wash on top. So I have an egg here. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my little dish. We'll use a fork. I'm going to mix this up. Use a little pastry brush and I'm just gonna lightly coat these. And I think what I'm gonna do too is give us just a tiny sprinkle of salt. So when you dip this in the raspberry preserves, it'll have that contrast of the salt with the sweet.
do my little end pieces here. All right, I'm going to get my little salt. Not much, just a little smidgen on each. All right, we're going to put this in the oven. Normally we would bake these for 10 to 12 minutes, but I'll probably take them out at about eight minutes. All right, let's get them in the oven. All right, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and get everything out to make our next little treat. All right, my husband smoked a pork butt so that I can make this next one. I know like at Costco, they sell already smoked pork and shredded pulled pork, however you wanna do it. My husband did smoke this one for me. Get it out into this bowl. This was a whole roast. Honestly, I don't remember how many pounds it was. And I'm going to go grab some gloves. Just because this is greasy, it's going to be difficult to... Not difficult, but it take a lot of work to wash my hands. So I'm going to go grab some gloves real quick. So probably ideally, we should have shredded this up when he smoked it, when it was hot. Because it shreds a lot easier then. I'm going to pour some barbecue sauce over this. I'm not going to measure. I just need to moisten it up some. And then I have some freshly grated cheddar cheese here. You could use whatever cheese you want. If I can get it out. There we go. We'll start with that. I'll put my gloves on. And I'm just going to get in here and start shredding this up. And hope I don't make a mess with it. I guess I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Alright, so I'm going to get all this shredded up and then we'll be back. All right, I went on to the bigger bowl here. Um, about a, so this was one Boston butt. I honestly, I don't remember how big the size is. I used about a pound of shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna say this is a 40 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. And we used about two thirds of that. So that's all in this bowl. Now what we're gonna do is take some puff pastry. I've had this out thawing. You wanna work with puff pastry at room-ish temperature. Again, I have my parchment here so I don't mess the counter up too much. So I'm gonna gently unfold these. They aren't quite room temperature, but we'll go with it. I'm gonna roll these out a little bit. Might need to let these thaw a little bit more. These come in the freezer section. All 
All right, I'm gonna use the lines that are already here and I'm gonna use my pizza cutter and just cut these. And then I'm gonna cut these in thirds. We'll see if that's the right size. So let me grab a fork real quick. All right, I'm gonna take my fork. I'm kind of prick this so it doesn't puff up too much. I'm gonna take a little bit of my mixture here. Just kind of put it down the middle at a diagonal. And then we're gonna take the corners up. Maybe need a little bit more in there. And kind of pinch these together. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're aiming for. All right, I'm gonna get all these done. We'll get them on a sheet pan and we'll get these in the oven. So the pulled pork bites, let me just show you out of the oven. They kind of split open here. So what I ended up doing, these haven't been baked yet, was when I pinched it, then I folded over and I kept pinching it again to make it kind of sealed down. And these are holding better. They have been all come out of the oven. We had so many of these. I have pork left over, it's gonna go in the freezer. So I was just gonna do a little taste test here. And on my, let me grab a spoon. Sift some powdered sugar on top of my little Monte Cristo pinwheel. Like that. And like I said, we'll serve this alongside some raspberry preserves. All right, let's get a little taste test. Okay, so um, so I'll serve raspberry preserves with the pinwheel, and then I'll serve some warmed barbecue sauce with my pulled pork puff pastries. All right, let's give this a taste test. Be careful when you bite so you don't blow the powdered sugar everywhere. I should know that from beignets. I'm sure with the raspberry preserves, it add another little level of sweet and tart, but the smoky meat with that little bit of powdered sugar, so good. And speaking of smoky meat, this smoke, these are still really warm. This smoke pulled pork. So good. It's actually kind of rich. I've made those before. They're crowd pleaser. I've never done the pinwheels before, but these are gonna go over like a hit. So what I'm gonna do, let me grab something to wipe my hands real quick. To store these, I'm gonna use a um, disposable pan. I'll do one layer of the component, whether it's the pinwheel or the puff pastry, and then put a layer of parchment, a layer of the food, and a layer of parchment, and then wrap it up with some aluminum foil really good put that in the freezer, because I'm not gonna save these for very long, but I just wanted to get them done ahead of time, and then I could finish baking them off the day I need them. I only need them in a week, so I just wanted to go ahead and get them done. They'll be okay in the freezer for a week. If you're wanting to do longer, I would say put them in maybe freezer Ziploc bags, or I wouldn't do a food saver bag, because that'll smash them down, but maybe the freezer Ziploc bags, if you're kind of worried, maybe a little bit longer, you could double bag it. So I hope y'all give these recipes a try. I hope you like them. And if you haven't subscribed before, we ask that you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.